Hello everyone guys, hope you're all doing well. This is gonna be the lab number four from WebCache Deception Vulnerability Module. And today we are gonna see exploiting cache server normalization for WebCache Deception. In the previous lab, we saw exploiting origin server normalization for WebCache Deception. And in this lab, we are gonna see cache server normalization. So the lab description is same as before. We need to find out the API key for Carlos user and we have one valid credential. Username is Wiener and the password is Peter. The lab also provided one possible list of delimiter characters. You can download it from here and I'm using the sec list special character uh, word list that's been said you can go here uh, for accessing the lab which i already did here and i'm just gonna uh, access the my account page to log in and i'm enabling the web proxy on my browser okay so just refresh this one more time so that we have the request in the burp suite uh, let's go to proxy http history yeah fine now let's log in and we are logged in this is our welcome page and we have our users api key let's go back to the burp suite and we are gonna analyze the request here um so this is my account page login page uh, the request and response pretty normal this is the post request where we uh, basically log in and this is my account page after login so uh, here in this response we should have api key but the thing here is in the response you can see there is no cache okay um although something is not normal here what request we captured because we do not find any resource endpoint as before in the previous labs so maybe we missed something or we need to refresh the page again so that we get yeah okay now you can see the application is using some uh, javascript files and it has traditional url which have valid path resource slash js and within this path there is re tracking.js resource so if you click on this request you can see in the response the cache exist because we have x cache header cache control header the maximum age is 30 seconds and the x cache value is miss because the response is not stored in the cache this time this time once we try to access tracking.js but later you can see here we find hit because the first time cache is stored the response and the second time we get that okay so that's it now let's go i'm going to send uh, this request this request where we have api key send to the repeater go back to the repeater send the request and let's see api yeah we have api key fine so we do from the beginning so here there is no cache and we want actually as an attacker our purpose is to save this response which contains the api key within the cache but cache is not here so let's go and what i'm gonna do is um, i'm gonna check first the path so i just change this abc or anything you want send this request and as you can see the origin server cannot abstract the my account and that's why we don't have the response here also we don't find any kind of uh, cache mechanism in place fine so the second thing because in the proxy if we go here you can see tracking.js is there and this path is here so cache may have different rules the rules for a specific file extension or maybe there are some rules for a specific directories cache rules okay so i'm gonna try to see if cache has any kind of file extension rule so that if we send a request for uh, a specific uh, file extension and the cache rule exists so we will find here some cache response headers so i just add dot js and as you can see as before the origin server cannot abstract this path also 
we don't find any cache here that means maybe there is no cache rule which belongs to this file extension and you can also try a bunch of other file extensions like css uh, text pdf or something like this but nothing here okay um, so the next thing what we can try is we can try to send this request to the intruder and we will try to find out some delimiter characters okay so send this request to the intruder go to the intruder clear all the payload positions and we are just going to add this one make sure the attack type is sniper go to the payload and i'm going to load the list uh, from the sec list in the fuzzing directory special characters and make sure the payload encoding is unchecked url encode the, these characters this must be unchecked now start the attack and let it finish so as you can see mostly we get 404 404 404 but here this is 200 so it's almost completed i'm gonna filter the result in increasing or ascending order so you can see the origin server may use these two delimiter characters so i'm gonna close this discard and back to the repeater here instead of this slash i'm gonna put question mark and send this request and this time you can see there is no cache of course but we have the response okay <clears throat> uh, let's try one more time maybe like this because the question mark is going to separate this part as the query string so maybe the server abstract this path and also we find uh, a cache by file extension rule so let's try this one and once i send this you can see there is no indication for cache but we have the response so this part where especially this okay now what we can say here that uh, it indicates that cache also uses question mark as path delimiter maybe but one thing is confirmed that the cache does not have any uh, extension file extension rule and that's why we do not find here uh, anything regarding the cache or any response header for the cache fine so let's see still we are far away from our purpose and what else i can try is i can uh, let's see convert this question mark into the url encoding and send the request again and still we have the response and api key but still we don't have any uh, indication of the cache fine so what else we can try if we go back to the proxy and the previous request we were talking about this okay so one thing now we know that there is no cache rule regarding .js extension but maybe there are some directory or path or a specific directory rule in the cache so what i'm gonna try is uh, go to the repeater and i'm gonna take out all of these things uh, let's say first of all i'm gonna just put here any arbitrary uh, directory and let's see what happened so as you can see not found because uh, origin server cannot abstract this and also no sign of cache uh, and because it's talking about the normalization and we are checking for the uh, normalization uh, about the origin server or the cache server some kind of discrepancies uh so let's try to put here one part traversal and send again again the same thing same response because abc maybe there is uh, there is a rule for the directory for the cache but for some specific directory and what we saw before in this request that all these requests that starts with the resource directory all have the cache headers so what i'm gonna try here is instead of abc come on resource or resources resources s 
okay let's now send this request so once we send this request you can see still uh, nothing found what else we can try let's put here question mark and put abc.js send the request again still nothing happens so let's try one more thing don't need this and instead of that i'm gonna just convert this into the url encoded value and send the request nothing fine what if i put something like this okay now you can see we get a little win so before every request whatever we put have no indication of cache and no response from the origin server but here in this request here you can see the cache response headers we get that means the cache is in place if we send the request again we get hit also that means perfectly fine cache mechanism is in place just the problem is response with the api key fine so what else what else we can do so that we get or we fetch the response of slash my account from the origin server and put it into the cache and the cache server deliver that response to us uh, if we try this one just this one there is nothing and if we try this also nothing okay so the cache rule if the cache rule is specifically for some specific directories so it doesn't mean that the directory is always come earlier from any other directory you know what i mean let's see if i put resources instead of uh, before my account if we put it after my account let's see what happened okay nothing is there let's see um if i say dot dot okay so you can see in this case we get the uh, response headers that indicates cache is in place but the response we do not get up to now fine let's again try to encode this into the url encoded value still now this means that uh, the cache is normalizing uh, the path traverser dot dot slash dot dot slash so this slash has been um, normalized by the cache okay but still we don't have any sign of response what else we can try um, if i try here a uh, question mark because question mark is going to separate is going to separate this part from the url as the query string and the main part will be this my account so let's see try this one okay that's good now you can see um, the origin server can abstract now my account but no sign of the cache <clears throat> we will see we will see something like this before once i put here let's say um, abc.js so once we write this in this case this part will be separated from this rest of the url and this will be the query string so that the origin server is successfully uh, getting the response abstracting this and we are getting that but still you can see we did not get any uh, cache response headers so the same thing is here even if if i if i put here something like something like this still we will get the response for the api key but the cache we will not get see we get the response with the api key but we do not get any kind of cache and uh, so what we are doing here is we just put here this one resources so this was the request where we put this slash as the url encoded value uh, the server was not only using question mark as the delimiter right we also have this hash let's try one more time and wonderful you can see now we have cache in place and we also have the response 
for my account page which contain the API key and this is what our purpose is here we get miss if I send it again we will get hit that's it that's what we want fine so that's me mean, that means this is gonna be the payload for uh, the victim okay so let's go I'm gonna open the exploit server and come back here A script document dot location is equal to and we are gonna close the script tag and here we just need to copy this URL and paste it here now we just need to store and let's send this exploit or malicious URL to the Carlos user and once the Carlos user will access this it will first time get the response from the origin server and store it into the cache server and next time once we will uh, try to access the same URL we will get the response so you can see this is the IP of the Carlos user that means Carlos user is accessing our uh, link so now we just need to resend this request because we know that this request is only accessed by the Carlos user and as you can see miss oh god it's still wiener mm -hmm. let's see back to the exploit server and deliver the exploit to the victim one more time go to the access log while I was explaining maybe 30 seconds has been passed so let's come back here send this one more time again miss that means that means something is wrong um, let's see uh, okay we need to convert this special character or delimiter character into the URL encoded value because as you can see here it's uh, normalizing the path right so let's see um, okay and this time I'm just gonna copy this part back to the exploit server and let's change convert this hash value to its URL encoded form and store this exploit and deliver it one more time this time hopefully it will work it should work okay still it's accessing so now just send the request again and as you can see this time we get hit that means first time once the Carlos try to access that malicious link the response came from the origin server and because the cache did not did not store that response so it stored that response in the cache and sent the response to the Carlos and once the Carlos get that response Carlos will get here miss but because in the first time now the cache stored that response so next time once we try to access the same URL we will get the response from the cache and that's what we want so if we come to the match you can see this time this response is for Carlos and this is the Carlos API key so I'm going to copy this back to our uh, lab and submit the solution paste that and we solve the lab yeah congratulations you solved the lab so that's it for this uh, lab and i hope you enjoy the lab if you like the content please like subscribe and share i'm gonna see you in the next uh, last lab of this module